For those of you who haven't heard, the very next NBA draft will be including arguably the greatest prospect in the game's history. Sound like a bold claim? Well, let me tell you about him. Victor Wembanyama is a professional French basketball player who will soon be crashing the NBA with the biggest hype train that we've seen in nearly two decades. The 18-year-old is listed as a 7-foot 3-inch power forward with an insane 8-foot long wingspan. I hear people saying that he's anywhere from 7 foot 2 inches tall to 7 foot 5 inches tall. Considering how Rudy Gobert is listed at 7'1 and Victor completely towers over him, I would say that there's no question that he's at least a solid 7'3, but likely 7 foot 4 inches tall with his shoes on. We've had players in this game that have been this massive, but let me be clear, none of them have looked like Victor. Without question, Wembenyama is the smoothest moving 7 footer that I have ever seen. He has the handle of a solid point guard, his footwork is elite, and his jump shot is extremely lethal. I think Ralph Sampson is the most comparable in terms of being a 7'4 player who moved with fluidity, but I believe Victor has even more in his skill set, which is saying a lot seeing how Sampson is an NBA Hall of Famer. On defense, he's a terrifying show-stopping rim protector, and on offense, he's virtually unstoppable, with a loaded bag of skills all packed into a demigod's body. One of my scariest thoughts is are we sure this kid is even done growing? He's still only 18 years old and unicorn players like Kevin Durant famously grew several inches while they were in the league. If he's still got a little growing left in him, this kid might end up being as big as Yao Ming while playing the game of basketball like a guard. Obviously, anytime you're dealing with a player above 7 feet tall, there's going to be injury concerns about his knees and feet. But typically, 7 footers move around very awkwardly. They're gangly, clumsy, and don't have the natural agility of a small perimeter player. This isn't the case for Victor though, as I've never seen a player this big who is as agile and as skilled as he is. I'm not being facetious when I say that this 7 foot 4 inch giant moves around just like an athletic guard. He has tremendous 3 point range and he has supreme confidence in his jump shot as it is nearly impossible to contest with his ridiculous height and length. What is becoming one of his more frequent moves is his running one legged jump shot. Typically, leaping towards the defender is a great way to get your shot blocked, but with his insane god given size, that never seems to be a concern for him. This one-legged jumper is also a testament to his incredible balance as a big man. Very few players can accurately hit jumpers off of one leg, but even fewer players can do it that are above 7 feet. He's also solid in the mid-range, and you can't defend his fadeaway, period. He's just too athletic, he's too big, and his reach is just too high. Obviously, people all around the league are singing his praises, and even the NBA's official YouTube page has been airing his games. LeBron James said he's not a unicorn, but an alien. Kevin Durant said the league will be in trouble when he arrives, and Giannis said he'll be one of the greatest players of all time. Former NBA star Richard Jefferson is one of the biggest believers in his talent, as he claimed that Victor is the most hyped prospect in the history of the game, even more so than LeBron James was. Now I don't necessarily agree with that, because the LeBron James hype was simply the most hyped arrival of an athlete that I've ever seen in any sport, as people were guaranteeing that LeBron was on his way to being one of the greatest players of all time. He was all over ESPN, Sports Illustrated, and was receiving Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant comparisons before he had even played a game in the NBA. Although I don't think Victor's hype is quite on that level, it's easily the closest we've been to LeBron since. Adam Silver has already publicly warned teams that there will be severe consequences for any team that tanks his way into the Victor sweepstakes. And even with that being said, I'm willing to bet that some teams will still be willing to take that risk. Remember all those times where basketball fans imagined what Giannis could do if he simply had a solid jump shot? Well, Victor already has that jump shot that Bucks fans have been fantasizing over, and he's 5 inches taller than Giannis. Essentially, the league needs to be ready, NBA GMs need to be ready, and you collectors need to be ready because this guy will have the kind of rookie card that you won't want to miss. As for me, well, I'll be crying myself to sleep, seeing how my Lakers might be the worst team in the league, and we still won't have a shot at drafting him. So what do you guys think? What is Victor's ceiling and what is his floor? Let me know your scouting report in the comment section below. 
Thanks for watching as always. Make sure to like and subscribe for more basketball content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.